All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is David of The David Show, and today I'll be playing a game called Narcissu? Narcissu. Narcissu. And uh, this isn't exactly a game per se. It's billed as a visual novel, which basically means there's no gameplay. It's all, all cutscenes that I myself will read. Um, why would you play this game? Um, who would play this game? Maybe that's what you're asking yourself. Uh, I would. And because it's for me. That's why. It's, it's an experiment, and I'm going to see where it ends up. I'm not sure how long this will last, but let's start it out. All right. It's a free game on... It's free. Not a game, but it's free on Steam. So that's another reason I wanted to check it out. Cost me nothing. And it comes with two. It's the first one and the second one. Let's go... With that, select title, go. Select it. Enter, okay. Uh, select translation, okay. And we'll go with unvoice, because I will be the voices. All right, here we go. No, it went too fast. All right, you guys read that, though. Okay, boom, down, Let, right, 2001. 30, uh, I don't want to read numbers from the July 2004. Ah, it's too fast. I'm not pressing this. Spring 1996, Satsumi. Um, I don't know who this person is, so I'll just select a voice. True. I wasn't very healthy ever since I was a child. Even so, I attended elementary school like all the others, and during summer breaks, I often played until I was utterly tanned. I don't know if I should have a web a face cam for this. No, I will. I will. June, shortly after my entry into middle school, the day after I'd ordered a swimsuit for the for use for use the next month. That doesn't make sense. My first hospital is oh god, on a day. Just before the first semester midterms, on a day when the first drops of rain were so cruelly cold. Fall I'm not sure if this is a guy or a girl, so I'm going somewhere like in between. Falling from amidst the pure white of the overcast sky. Of course, the first time it happened, all my classmates came to visit me almost every day. And when I was released, they even came to my house on weekends to play. But then... But that was only the first time around. I can barely read. Autumn into winter, winter into spring, a vicious cycle. Hospitalization, release, clinics, and hospitalization again. Jesus. And before I knew it, even the classmates I once called friends turn into acquaintances and then into strangers. Man, this is some heavy stuff. As if with, as if with every changing of sea. Ah. Oh. Sorry guys, I can barely. I was being erased from their collective memory. Oh, looks like it's a girl. Is that a- that's a girl in the- whatever. It seems that, to all those normal people, my very existence was an unpleasant fact. God. And so, it looks like I've been erased. I guess this is gonna be a sad story. I'd spent- so many seasons, so many white overcast skies, without the want or need to converse with anybody. For that matter, my English textbook never changed from that of a first-year middle school student before the first midterms. That is where my time seems to come to an end. Does she die? Stage, volume 24. Alright, 2004. Eight years later. Is she older? I'll still go with the same voice. Summer, flowing sweat. The gigantic electronics... Should I... I don't... Is this just the narrator? The gigantic electronic scoreboard in the, in the driver's license exam examination facility... I can't read words. Lit up all at once. Oh, okay, it's still the girl. Lit up all at once. My eyes and everyone else's look for our respective numbers. 237, 237. And of some eight columns of lit text, sure enough, my examination number was shining in the midst. Clickety-clack. Clickety-clack. 
A nearly empty train car, perhaps thanks to the beautiful afternoon. Almost alone in that train car, I was headed back home from the examination hall. My left hand held a new traffic regulations handbook, and my breast pocket held my brand new driver's license. So now I've got a license as well. I muttered somewhat happily, but there were no strong feel- oh, it just starts the music over again. I never particularly wanted to drive a car. I never particularly had any motive for it. It was just that my colleagues and the Technical Institute both recommended that I at least get a driver's license. What time is it? Five minutes in? That night, when I told my parents that I'd gotten my license, they merely replied with an I see. With an I see. And when I asked if I could borrow the car just for a test run, they instantly curtly said just one thing. No. Sounds like my parents. While I didn't really want to drive the car or anything, the response was all too expected. Those were my parents for you. The next day I woke with chest pain and went to the ho- God damn, what's wrong with this girl? Sickness and I ge generally had nothing to do with each other. Which is why I found the ER waiting room to be utterly boring. No, it's, it's normally fun for people. And just when I thought they were through examining me, they ordered an x-ray and some blood tests. Then they left. Are there any other characters in this game? And again, I was left waiting for a long, long time. I'd already polished off three volumes of Shonen Jump. I remember that. And just about to start on a fourth when they admitted me to the hospital right then and there. <laughs> and it seemed that my l new license, which still lay snugly in my breast pocket, would have to wait long time. Wait a long time for its turn to come. I don't know what's gonna happen. And I hope another person comes. Right right around then when all the all too noisy cicadas had finally gone silent, I found myself in the hospital as per usual. Of course, it wasn't as if I'd been there the entire time. I came and went, came and went. A futile cycle. My first surgery was a month before. After that, I started doing the five-minute commute from the hospital by mo moped. Moped. And from then on, <laughs> I was hospitalized, discharged, ordered to clinic, and hospitalized again and again and again. Maybe you just kill yourself. While I still had no clue what PET or ERISA st stood for, in no time at all, several months had already... I don't know what those are either. As my appetite decreased, my medications increased. I could feel my own physical strength atrophying away. I kept imagining... This is going to be a short story, it seems like. I kept imagining that my legs were getting thinner, but the needle of the weight scale rudely informed me it's not just your imagination. And yet I kept looking on at myself and with detached interest as if it were happening to somebody else entirely, as if I were looking at a scene on TV or the like. I know a lot of kids that talk like this. My mind cannot grasp what had s Ugh. Sorry guys. Ah, this is way too much reading for me. My mind could not grasp what had so suddenly happened to my body. Nothing within me was telling me that this was real at all. And that's why when even though it was all happening to me, I kept looking on as if it were happening to someone far away. Maybe try some yoga or Pilates. A day of winter, around when the Christmas trees had vanished from the streets, I was just discharged home as a kind of year's end treat. It seemed like an exercise in total tra transience. Tra but still, it made me slightly happy. I'm sick of this voice, I need another character. I traveled back to home and I had not seen in a long time in the midst of a freezing rain. Strangely enough, my entire family was there. I'm gonna change voices. My parents, who had never so much as talked to me, came out to meet me if with terribly stilted smiles. And my little sister with whom I'd... Okay, I can't do this with whom I'd never had a pleasant word, had made my favorite cream stew and fried shrimp just for me. They made me sit at a table, 
They peeled tangerines for me. They were cruelly, cruelly kind. It was an impressive display. At this point, do they have any other pictures? It's just rain and shit. At this point, a little thought occurred to me. Are we 10 minutes in? You know what? We'll see you next time on this bullshit show.